This is not a drill, Dragon Prince fans. Not only do we have one first look image, I'm talking about several first look images for season six of the Dragon Prince, and yes, <laughs> some are of Raylum. So let's talk about it. What's going on you guys? James here with some real news and oh man, this is a big day Dragon Prince fans. Listen, I've had this video ready to go since last Thursday and well, uh, it got a little busy this weekend. I had my church's conference and it was so much fun, thank God. And now I'm finally ready to sit down and deliver some awesome news to you. Maybe you've heard this news already and maybe you haven't, but any which way you're in the right place. So hey, if it's your first time here, hit the big red button below, subscribe to the channel, and tap on that bell so you don't miss out on all of my season six coverage for the Dragon Prince when it drops on July 26th. And um, let's just say you might be seeing some familiar and new faces on the channel come next month. I'm not gonna say too much more than that. And hey, get loud in the comments below, guys, and let me know which first look image is your favorite. So, like I said, <laughs> we've got a lot of images to talk about, but First, let's talk about how I found out and then get into the photos and some of my theories. Now, these first look images were not released officially on the Dragon Prince's social media channels. Instead, I discovered them in Netflix's media center that I have access to because I'm press. So these images are, yes, official. Some of these scenes we've already witnessed in very quick clips from previous teaser trailers and some of these stills are brand new to us so i'm ready to talk about them because while maybe like one of them are photos we've seen already the rest are brand new and this is excellent news you guys because there's so many things to get into and i just know there's one photo here that's gonna make y'all kind of squeal and that's okay because if you're a raylum fan me too so I don't even want to waste any more time, guys. Let's get into a breakdown of every single new image that we got. Let's begin with an image from Season 6, Episode 1, Star Touched. Now, this is Raylum sharing a moment with Callum holding the pearl imprisoning Erebos. But is it just me, you guys, or does Rayla look very eager and excited? It's almost as if she is excited about a plan that Callum is putting together because we know Callum loves his plans, right? <laughs> but this isn't really much of a whoosh, zip, whip, bang type of plan. This is a, hey, we need to get the Nova Blade to probably kill Erevos, but he's still in this ball, so nothing to worry about. <laughs> it is no coincidence that this is an earlier screenshot from season six because it feels just like the tone with these season six episode one images is very happy. And everything after that is not very happy. So the second image is also from season six, episode one, and it's King Ezrin giving us his very best king pose. He looks so confident in this photo. The tone to me seems very optimistic. Again, continuing that trend, right? Episode one, things are great. We're getting Raylum, we're getting King Ezrin, but then soon we're gonna get Erebos. And then we're probably gonna get the fall of, well, the entire Dragon Prince universe, who knows? Now this next image is from season six, episode two, Love, War, and Mushrooms. And yep, this pretty much guarantees that our group is gonna be splitting up for a majority of this season, or at least at the very start of the season. We see Corvus in this photo, Soren, Zim, and even Hat on top of Soren's head. That's one of the three new baitlings that King Ezrin rescued from Scumport last season. And it does look like they're tracking someone or something. But I do think they're looking for Zubeya. They're in a forest setting, so of course after considering the forest setting and them tracking someone, and then I saw the episode title, I immediately think they're going to eventually meet Muko, the mushroom mage we last saw in season 5 that is hopefully able to heal an injured Zubeya. Now this next photo is also from Love Worn Mushrooms, which is season 6 episode 2, and this is most likely going to be a pre-war image you know there's a civil war that's brewing within the sunfire elves but this image is a sweet moment being shared by two people who are madly in love with each other you have queen janai and amaya because uh, they're engaged guys and they're not going to have the wedding yet or maybe ever if amaya ends up risking her life for janai who knows we'll see what happens 
it's a crazy theory <laughs> we'll talk about that one maybe <laughs> who knows uh but i do love that it seems this is hey possibly a sweet send-off who knows right who knows could it be that in this moment amaya is saying goodbye to janai for a little bit or vice versa of course this does not look like it's their wedding moment but we do see a city off in the distance which is i'm guessing what queen janai rules over currently and is shared with the humans in the sunfire elves Alrighty, so now let's move on to an image from Season 6, Episode 3, The Frozen Ship. Now, we see King Ezrin here alongside Opeli, who's an OG, and he's being, or they're actually both being escorted outside of Catullus by the Crown's Guard. So, maybe they're walking towards someone to broker a deal? Hmm. But who could that person be? And we're not done with Episode 3. We got a second image to talk about, like... Raylum, <laughs> another Raylum photo. <laughs> Raylum seems to be on their adventure together by this point in season six, presumably towards the Star Scraper to retrieve the Nova Blade. But it, of course, seems to be in this image. They're not there yet. They're actually aboard a burning ship, and that's a setting that we saw. And I think it was the was it the very first teaser trailer, or was it the release date announcement teaser trailer? But listen, the last time we saw Rayla doing backflips on this ship, it looked like she was trying to escape or maybe go and save <laughs> Callum. So of course we have Rayla and Callum in the photo but on Raylum's shoulders are Sneasels and Stella and an interesting note here it could mean that Stella has come around to finally liking Callum and could it be that it's because they've already rekindled the relationship between Rayla and Callum <laughs> and maybe by this point have they already shared a kiss who knows I don't think so it's too early for that that'll probably be safe for the end of season six. And we're not leaving the ship yet because we have a third episode 3 image. And this time it is Raylum one more time. What is that famous Britney Spears song? Hit me baby one more time. Yeah, we're doing it again guys because this time they've got to be at the Star Scraper. You can tell by the snowy environment that they're in and I'm so sure their shadow paw isn't far behind either. Now they do look worried in this image. It does not look like they've come across, uh, let's say the Star Scraper, with great joy and optimism. It almost feels like they're looking at this thing like, uh, how are we gonna get up? And speaking of the Star Scraper, we've got an image to talk about from season six, episode four, the Star Scraper. And I'm almost 100% sure this is the moment prior to Raylum finding their way into the Star Scraper itself. It's a beautiful shot, you guys, of course. And it reminds me a lot of the New York City Comic Con promo image that the Dragon Prince team used. But I do kind of like, if you zoom in a little bit more, that Rayla's wearing the hood over her head. It's kind of cool. Yeah, Rayla, she's got cool outfits, you know what I mean? Uh, alrighty, so let's get into a second image from episode 4, because this leads me to believe that even though the episode's called The Star Scraper, we're going to be bouncing back and forth. It won't just be Raylum going to the Star Scraper and everything happening inside. We're also going to get some Sunfire Elf drama. It's interesting that here in the photo we get a look at not just Kareem, not just Miana, but also pharaohs. If you need a little refresher, <laughs> these are the traitors that defected from the Sunfire Elves and are looking to take down Queen Janai to then reign over the Sunfire Elves and kick out the humans. Kareem, you're bad. Now, if I had to guess what they're looking up at, it's definitely Sol Regum, right guys? And maybe this is an attempt to win him over to their side because if you look at what Pharos is carrying, I believe it's a Sunseed, which we saw a glimpse of in the previous teaser trailer too. And as we know, Sunseeds can grow into great orbs, is that what they're called? Yeah, great orbs uh, that can then power uh, a lot because previously uh, a great orb powered the Sunforge in Luxoria, so go figure. Alrighty, so let's move along now to an image from Season 6, Episode 5, Moonless Night. And here, yeah, we see a new character, a celestial elf, I think it is. Now, according to the metadata in the photo, right, this is from Netflix, okay? The character's name is Cosmo, voiced by Ethan Farrell. I, I'm excited to hear what Ethan Farrell can do with Cosmo, but this is most likely the scene that we saw in a previous teaser trailer where Raylum arrives to the Star Scraper and you start seeing all these elves flying around. But I'm looking at this photo in particular a little closer, and I think we see Astrid in the background. Where am I wrong on that? 
Astrid is a new celestial elf, of course, that we're going to be introduced to in season six. But if that's Astrid, hmm, I almost wonder. This is probably leading towards that flying image that we saw. Remember that? Where it was like Rayla and Callum. So we'll see what happens. And the last first look image we have to talk about is from season six, episode five as well. And this looks like it's bubbling to the point of the season where maybe things aren't going so great for Callum and the gang here because Rayla's encountering this large, uh, a dragon-like creature, I believe it is, that we saw in a previous teaser trailer. It's got purple eyes and we also saw it without purple eyes, but it suggests to me that this thing is being controlled by someone else because uh, didn't we see an ocean rune necklace on the creature previously? So again, this does not seem like a good situation for Rayla. I don't see how she actually comes out of this undamaged. She's going to be hurt. Um, I hate to say it, guys, but she's getting hurt in this moment. So listen, I, I think we look at this scene in two ways. One, this thing's possessed and it's attacking Rayla and that's it. Or it is possessed because it's protecting something from someone. Hmm, I wonder what that could be, you guys. And those are all of the first look images we got from season six of The Dragon Prince. And I did find something very interesting about the way they rolled these photos out. One, well, they didn't really put on the official channel, so maybe it was not meant to be in the press library just yet, but it's there, so we're talking about it. I have to imagine though, it stops at episode five for a reason. Is it possible the last four episodes of season six are incredibly dark and there are so many surprises ahead i think so and i think that is going to make you excited because it's making me excited uh and i also think that with all these first look images guys you know what's around the corner the official trailer for season six and when it does drop you need to be subscribed so guys go ahead and hit the big red button below because i'm reacting to it we're breaking it down and we're gonna cry together what do you what do you mean i'm the only one that's crying that's, how dare y'all Alrighty guys, well, that's it. Those are all the images I got. I need to get prepped for the rest of the week because I'm so sure this isn't the only news we're going to talk about this week, guys. I'm excited. Alrighty y'all, well again, thanks so much for watching. God bless you guys, and I'll catch you at the next screening.